great question here from Susan about referral partners. Um, so one of the things I often talk about, you know, there are basically there. If I were to really, 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 really summarize uh, the ways to grow your audience and get more potential clients, three ways. Okay, F uh, social media ads. Okay, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn ads, that kind of thing. Um, collabs collaborations and third is stage two stage three content you could search the three stages of content creation for that whole bit but we're going to focus on the middle one today which is collabs or what um susan is asking here there she's calling it referral partners same idea which is you have people who could who could who probably would love to refer clients to you if you only worked with them if you only had a connection with them or you know so so that's the question is how do we work what are some ideas? All of you, please comment below. What are, what are ideas do you have about working referral partners? And uh, Susan, being a, a great question asker, said, well, for, for example, uh, Susan says, I thought of adding a web page to my site where I post my referral network, giving each of them a little blurb. Some of these could be affiliates, meaning I'm their affiliate, where others will be individuals I've worked with who have been valuable to my growth as an entrepreneur. See? Susan's not only is she asking a good question, she's giving a great idea, right? Like having a little hub page on on her site uh, to kind of give give praise to worthy colleagues and and uh, service providers and and even clients of hers or whatever, just to help them promote their their work too. Okay, great idea, great idea, absolutely. Uh, but yes, if you all have any other ideas, you can comment below. I will just FYI for those of you who want to get my net caring course i will have an entire module that goes into many more ideas and exercise and all but for, for this uh little video i'll just offer a couple of quick ideas just for for sake of time here um another idea that i really enjoy is um oh okay the simplest idea the one that i do most often i'll tell you that is co-interviews co-interviews so um Basically, let's say you have a friend who is also a service provider or uh, they have their own business or their own work that they want to get out there. Well, you interview them about your work, about their work. Sorry, you interview them about their work. You ask them on a video, on a Zoom call that you record, you ask them genuine questions that you have about their work. And not just not just questions you have, but you imagine the people you know who could benefit from their work, what kinds of questions they might have for this person. Like maybe you have a friend who could really benefit from this person. What questions might your friend ask to this person and, and help this person help, help uh, your colleague shine on the video, ask them questions and, and introduce some comments to help them to, to, you know, uplift their work. Okay. And then they do the same interview with you. Very simple. You could just schedule an hour and cut it in half, you know, 20 minutes for you, 20 minutes for me. And, 10 minutes in the beginning to kind of say hello, 10 minutes at the end to, to kind of like decompress or whatever, right? Simple. Okay. Simple idea. A another idea is um, bonus. Having something you create that can be a bonus for your colleagues. So in other words, let's say I am a, well, say, let's say I'm a life coach. Okay. And maybe I don't even have an online course or a webinar recording that I could give as a bonus to my colleagues. But let's say I am happy to provide a real, you know, one hour um, session. This is not for the whole world because I can't do this for the whole world. But I would be so happy to do this sample one hour real, not just a sales pitch, but a real one hour coaching or even half hour. Half hour is OK, too. But 30 to 60 minute coaching session for as a bonus for my friend's clients. Uh, maybe I have a friend who is a, you know, a career counselor or another friend who is a relationship, you know, healer or spiritual healer, whatever. Okay. I could say, hey, for your clients, I'd love to do, I'd be happy to do a one hour. And this is generous, actually. It's a one hour session working, particularly if I could say working with my modality of XYZ or working, working on, an, particularly if I can work on an issue or a set of issues that, my friend doesn't feel like it encroaches on their territory, then then the friend will say, well, I can do the same thing. Why do I need, you know? And I was like, oh, you're a relationship coach? Okay, I work with career issues, right? Or you're, um, 
you're a, you're a career coach. Well, I can do more of the spiritual side of, you know, their personal growth or whatever. Okay. You see, so be a bonus to each other. Right. So anyway, those are just two, two, two of ideas and what Susan gave was a great one too. So I hope this is helpful. And this is the start of a conversation. If you have other ideas you want to add to how to work with, you know, colleagues and potential colleagues, please do comment below. Thanks.